everybody, George Kenner. Well, where do I start this today? We're gonna to talk about different masking agents to get an etched finish on glasses. We've already been through the zinc paint, which is a high concentrate of zinc, and the tempara, which is basically like finger paint. Yeah, here's a sample glass that I did to show some of the different effects, and I've kept this along with the the grading, the, the structure of um, the speed and temperature that I used in the laser, just so that as I continue to experiment, I've got some basis to look back on. I, I tell everybody, keep notes. So back behind me, all that wood, there's hundreds of dollars of wood there. I need to move it. And the reason for it, I'm thinking about buying a CO2 laser. When I was experimenting, I'll call it YouTubing, looking for the, some of the different features of CO2 lasers, I found someone that had done a video and they said that there were three mediums that they used to maintain an etch surface because you can't just shoot straight through the glass and, and get the micro abrasion that's really necessary. Let's see if this looks a little bit better in that light. Just to show you, there, I used three different substances. One and the first one was green duct tape. It really probably came out the best, but in my own settings, I got it too hot and I cracked this glass. So, but that didn't ruin the glass for display purposes. So the next thing I did was, and I had seen this work and successfully with a CO2 laser. Now, of course, the CO2 laser in the class that did this was about a $10,000 machine. Excel D1s are not that expensive, but I was thinking, you know, let's just try this and see if I can get this to work with the controls and settings that I have. And they're not as advanced as you're going to get with a $10,000 later, sir, but I want to give it a try. This is with a paper towel. Now it feels a little rough. Um, it almost feels sharp. It's, it would be in no way satisfactory to give to somebody. This was palm olive. Now these were all satisfactory mediums to get a good etch off of a glass with a um, CO2 laser. Of course, the difference in cost. Now, let me, I put this on one of Xtool's RA2 rotaries. Now, to give you an idea of the difference in cost and the true value of the Xtool as it's assembled, this is about three to $350 and will hold everything from coffee mugs, wine glasses, and it will move on a rotary system so you don't have to have something that's absolutely flat, um, like a glass cylinder or a cylindrical piece of wood. Phenomenal tool. If you got this for a CO2 laser, and I'll show you one that's available, $1,000 to $1,400, depending upon the manufacturer, and if it'll integrate with the CO2 laser that you're looking at. I'm gonna tell you right now, if I'm gonna run a video on the CO2 laser that I plan on purchasing. These are some of the major companies, and I even have down here, when I requested a rate quote and when it arrived. There's one of the companies that's a, and probably one of the most expensive I wrote to them three days ago. They haven't responded yet. I'm going to follow up just so that I can say how long it took me to get a response to potentially buy one of their machines. It's entirely different than Xtool. Xtool, you literally can go in and purchase one right now and have it delivered in a matter of a couple of days. It's phenomenally better. One of the things that I want to share with you is something I got from one of my friends. And he'd asked me when I first bought the laser, why? He's going to explain not only why, well, let me play the video and you'll understand it. Hey George, Steve Bice here. Uh, we've known each other for a couple of years and we've had a couple of beers along the way. And uh, you mentioned to me that you got a new uh, etching or engraving machine. And uh, I was getting ready to go on a date and I thought, wouldn't it be cool if I could get uh, a coaster uh, to be able to present to the waitress to give to the young lady that I was on a date, first date, to try and impress her. And I thought of you because you got the machine and uh, you were so kind and I promised you two beers. Anyway, uh, you put together this nice little coaster, it had the young lady's name on it, gave it to the waitress, she brings it 
And what happens? She gives me a kiss on a first date right on my cheek, which is pretty cool, uh, when she saw the coaster and she was really emotional about it and she just couldn't believe it. She goes, no one's ever done this for me. Wow. So it was a wonderful experience and I know that you know, whether it works out or not, I hope it does. Um, they'll be in pop probably another date and I'll be ready. And why do I say I'll be ready? Because I think I need this same machine that you've got. So uh, hook me up and let me know uh, what's the best one. And um, I'll buy you those two beers. All right, take it easy. I'll see you, George. So now you understand why I purchased this laser. I don't want to burn up, and when I say burn up laser or use my CNC, and I can't afford to make really expensive projects for every one of my friends. But to hand someone a little cork coaster that it cost me probably less than a dollar to make, I can do that all day long. And I took, gave one to him, he asked me for another one. Next thing you know, he's got a kiss on the cheek. This is so much more fun than just sitting at the TV and listening to the political news. It just seems to be a never ending battle of we're not going anywhere other than with gas prices going up. So I encourage everybody, look at what you're doing. Pick up a craft. It doesn't have to be lasers. It could be something else. Go out and clean up your garage. Just in cleaning it up, you may find some tool or something, put all the components together and get inventive. That's what I did with this, from tape to a paper towel to just plain soap with a light tissue over it. I got pretty decent results here, and I have a feeling if I, I adjusted this, it'd be a lot better. I won't have to use the cold galvanized paint, which makes my garage smell bad even when I have the garage door open, or try and get, get a consistent or even finish with the tempara paint. I hope everyone subscribes. I have more content. I ordered something today, which is a film that you can put over the glass. And what it'll do is you can put it into the laser with the film on it and then just peel it off. There's no cleaning, no major cleaning, a little denatured alcohol and you're finished. And that's something that I'd like to be able to do. Just walk out, throw a wine glass or a beer mug on it and take it to one of my friends when I'm going over to their house and say, hey, here's your new one. If I get the CO2 laser, it's gonna be, it's gonna open even more horizons in the quality of work, but I promise, I'm not leaving Extool. This is a fabulous product. I, I will continue experimenting with it and show you the video. So if you subscribe, the Extool information is not going to go away. Everybody has to start someplace. These little consumer lasers can take someone into a bigger laser and potentially even a business. I just happen to be really blessed in life and I can afford to buy these things. So if, if you see that you'd like to start making something, CNC, laser, this may be the channel for you. I answer all my emails if you have a question. I had one of my friends, Matt, he just purchased his first CNC or purchased a CNC machine. He'd been waiting for another one for quite a while and it hadn't arrived. He finally found one, he got it. I've had teachers get reach out to me and tell me, how fantastic they think this message is and they're sharing my channel. My growth is taking off just because I want people to do something other than sit around and watch TV. I wish you all the best. You got a question, you can email me if you like, you can leave it in the comments, I will respond. Have a very good day, thank you.